Rollstone Cross. A mile to the right of that, to our left, is a war memorial. As you can see guys, I'm back. I was going to move on from this, go to the next summit. When I've done them all, come back. You know, because my last video, I were up here, Craco fell, and I failed it. Seriously low QRP. And I thought I'll move on and come back to this. Then I thought I won't be defeated. And like they say, the old saying, at first you can't succeed, then try and try again. My second try at this, Craco fell. And I wasn't gonna go out in winter to do so. I was gonna leave it till summer because in my opinion, yeah, it's good to get out in winter. But in my opinion, others might disagree with me, but I think the extra point's not worth it. But it's 20 years of SOTA. 2002 it started, specifically 2nd of March, so this is the first weekend. So happy birthday, SOTA. that beautiful sunrise just coming up above the Rollstone Cross as Farmer Giles is coming down to his herd of sheep on his quad right. every time I get to this point I feel like doing a mad dash to the left up to Rollstone Cross because it looks so easier than walking all the way around. But if you think about it, you got the dense, dense um, the moorland, boggy land that'll sap your energy. Then you've got a steep incline, so sometimes looks a deceiving. And plus the sun's coming up as well. Come to the horizon there. So I'll stick with the pathfinder way. Still frosty on the ground. So where did it start for me all this? It started in the 90s on CB radio. My first ever handel was Shadow in the 90s, yeah. Where CB were the social media. And then me and my friend loved CB. Channel 19, going to a different channel going for eyeballs and yeah it was really a nice community obviously you got abuse sometimes then i changed my name from shadow to playstation when the first ever playstation came out so you do the maths on that and then after that internet started coming out and slowly and surely the CB just died off. We all went online. Fast forward a few years, a few wrinkles. <laughs> uh, I went into shooting. I put my air rifle now on the uh, on the layer. 
Then I got into camping or on these uh, camping groups on Facebook and I seen this radio, this this guy had uh, um, all his camping equipment and his uh, a little handheld radio and I thought it was CB so I questioned it and it turned out to be amateur radio in 2018 and looked up my local amateur radio society club whichever and it turned out to be Otley Amateur Radio Society. Passed my exam. Big um, shout out to Rob Hine. Um, yeah, and it was M6. I thought I was going to get the M6 call sign, but believe it or not, that week it changed from M6 to M7. So I had basically the pick of the litter. <laughs> Um, of my last three M7 LLA I, I picked my last three of my registration plate <coughs> my private registration plate uh, on, on me and my wife's vehicle so I thought I'll never forget that so then people start saying when you're going to do your 2E0 2E0 and I've got nothing against them and definitely, definitely nothing against the full call signs who have to really struggle to get their call signs go through CW, really hard exams, but I'm happy with QRP. I've always been the one for hiking, getting out on the grey outdoors. There's nothing better for me, thrilling, than getting an antenna up on a mountain or wherever mobile, getting an old style antenna and working it. I got talking to Jeff, M6TUC, he told me about Sota. He said, you, you know, you like your hiking, you like Sota. And I was like, what's Sota? And between him and Chris, M0RSF, well, I met once at a club event, field day event. And yeah, I got talking to him and he explained about Sota. And here we are guys, doing Sota. So from CB in the 90s to getting into shooting, getting into camping and shooting, to leaving shooting, to going on to amateur radio and camping, the great outdoors. Then I got into YouTube, merged it all together. And I want to thank you guys for supporting me on this journey. And hopefully I've got a good feeling, I've got some good reviews coming out of camping equipment and some good videos coming out of SOTA and amateur radio and wild camping and family camping uh, so thank you guys for coming along this journey with me and I've merged it all together in this in this uh, channel of Bear Chills and the reason why I call it Bear Chills is I were out camping with me and we're out camping and shooting with me friend and literally in the Yorkshire Dales, it was absolutely sweating, uh, really hot. I was sweating. We pitched up, lovely day, 20 something degrees, really nice hot day. 20 minutes later, I put a video, uh, uh, um, a picture now of his tent. That's what it was like. And it just goes to show that that's why a lot of rescues happen in the uh, Peak District, Lake District, and so on and so forth is because the weather can change just like that and it really got down to minus something uh, one maybe minus one two three which weren't prepared really and he said he said he said never mind bear grills bear chills with bear chills and yeah i like that name and it stuck bear grills even bear grills wouldn't stayed out here he said with bear chills we were absolutely freezing that day guys and even the uh, farmer we had permission to shoot on, he said, what are you doing up here? I won't expect you to be here in the morning. And believe it or not, where we were, we called it the uh, coffin tent, OEX Fox. And the next video, what I'll be doing is the, believe it or not, smaller than the OEX Fox, which is called Gellert or Gillet Trek 1, which is like the solo tent. It's uh, about five centimetres shorter than the OAX box. 
And yeah, that were pre-COVID, uh, were that? Lockdown and stuff like that. So when I started my channel up then, we went into lockdown and really, it hasn't really, you know, I haven't been out much, I haven't kicked off really. So hopefully from now, fingers crossed, I know I keep saying it guys, but I've got a good feeling about this time. And yeah, so on to Sota. Just over there is a Pendalil in Sharpaw. I did Sharpaw sort of summit and camp there a few videos back. I will be doing a a video of Pendalil soon once I get down the list. I'll put the uh, references on now. Female one I believe. Just climbing up to summit with me. Yeah, I thought there were a lot of pheasants around protecting the nest as it's March. That's why she was close to me. She was uh, obviously I was going past the nest. Well, I couldn't promise you a view the last time I came up here, but certainly today I can. Sorry about the noise, guys. Over there is a war memorial summit. Craco fell. Just need to be careful here because my boots are a bit wet from the boggy. But well, that's a vertical drop from the cross. Surrounded by rolling hills. of Craco Fell War Memorial explains in the last video about this um, memorial there was a reef last time I come here makes me wonder if um, Storm Eunice have blown it away I'll have a little search for it I'll have a little search for it um, throughout the day, you can see it, put it back. The wind's really coming strong from the north, so what I'm gonna do, the war memorial, I'm gonna go to the south side of that and block that wind noise off. GoPro charger, charging up the battery. So I don't know what it is about this, this summer guys, I think it's cursed this one to be honest. So you know the, I brought the Andels to do, cause I thought I won't bring me 818 because I ain't got a proper protection um, case for it yet. Until I get one of them, I, I don't fancy bringing up summit. So what I thought is I'll bring my trusty Andeld and this, and I, and I brought the Dipole and this here, what, well, this adapter, for the handheld, you screw it in then and you can put your, um, your PL259 in into the uh, 
the dipole from the undeld. But if you see that, that's male. And so is the 878. And I, and I didn't know. Well, I've got two of these. And I can't find the other one. And I thought this one's for the... Because uh, I used it last time on the Sharp R. And I must have lost it. This is for the Yesu undeld. So again, guys, up against it. <clears throat> Never do things by half. Uh, so can't believe it so I've got the Nagoya N N A 771 antenna going into the Eniton 878 and if this don't work well I, I will be coming back but I'll, I don't know I just just check and check again but I, I did check and I just I, I genuinely believe that uh, adapter was for this but it won't uh, what it is with both things and the China stuff it's the opposite from the ASU it's a uh, male and I think Yesu's and Delta female but I'm just gonna like give it a go I'm gonna give it a go guys and let's see what's happened. CQ, 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 sorta, CQ, sorta. This is Mike 7, Lima Lima Alpha, M7, LLA Stroke Portable on summit of Craco Fell, G slash MP32. For any co possible contact, go to 145 450 please. 145 450 CQ, 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 sorta. 145 450. This is Mike 7, Lima Lima Alpha, M7 LLA for sorters on the air. Listening out for any calls on 2 metres on G forward slash MP32 on Craig Corfell Summit. The mic station, the mic station, um, can you come through please? I think I've got a G station as well, can you just stand by? Can the uh, portable station come through the mic, the mic station please? From Mike 7, Lima Lima Alpha. Mike 7, Mike Charlie Golf Portable. Yeah, 5 and 5 to me, 5 and 5, and I'm also on a little handheld. Well, I'm on a little handheld. Uh, just above the town of Far Nordic, out walking there, back to you. Yeah, Mike 7, uh, Mike Charlie Golf, I believe. Uh, can I take your name, please? Uh, your name on your next over. Yeah, I have uh, 5 and 5, same to you. Um, nice and clear as well. Uh, I'm 508 meters uh, ASL on GMP032. Uh, sorted activation, so if you, you collect chaser points, there's a couple there for you. Uh, I'm Craig Fell. The name here is Neil, November Echo India Lima. And uh, the call sign is Mike 7 Lima Lima Alpha. Thank you for your call today. And uh, it's as you're out, you're aware it's a bit windy up here in the summit, but the sun is shining better than last time. Uh, back to you. Yeah, Mike 7, Mike Charlie Golf Portable. Yeah, I'm nice, to, uh, nice to get the sort of points. I do do them, and I have done that, uh, that fell last year. And uh, but there is some places to shelter in, so it's not too bad. But yeah, operator Mick, Mike, India, Charlie, Kilo, back to you, but uh, yeah, you've had five to me there. Yeah, Mick, I'll receive, thank you. Yeah, you're right, these are a few shelters up here. I'm just next uh, on the uh, south side of the War Memorial, other side, there's no go, it's really windy. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it and bring someone else in. Um, thank you that for contacting up to uh, hopefully speak to you next time. Uh, Mike 7, Lima Lima Alpha, M7 LLA, listening for any more uh, contacts or for sort of something's on the air on Golf MP uh, 032 Craig Hoffel. Golf 8, Victor November Whiskey. There is another station, um, both keying up there, but I've got the Golf 8 Victor November Whiskey. Yeah, if you can come through, please. I appreciate everybody uh, coming through there. I'm on my little handheld, so um, I had a bit of a mix up, but yeah, uh, yeah. So G A V N W from Mike Seven Lima Lima Alpha. It's uh, five and nine for your signal report. Uh, five and nine. And can I take your location and name, please? Uh, G A Victor November Whiskey from Mike Seven Lima Lima Alpha. Yes, sir. Good morning, there. Golf Eight Victor. 
Uh, my name is Nick. That's November India Charlo Kilo. I'm down in the village of Threshfield, which is just next to Grassington. And it's practically line of sight to you. And obviously, you get your five and nine with me. Over. Yeah, that explains the five and nine as well. Yeah, no worries, Nick. I think that's the first time I've um, had a QSO here. Yeah, nice to have a QSO here. Yeah. Craig Fell, I'm sure you're aware, just uh, in Skipton. 508 metres. Um, I failed it like, uh, a few weeks ago. I had no um, contacts. Uh, I walked like one watt though. <laughs> I challenged myself on a seriously low QRP watch, but yeah, it failed. But yeah, you're my second contact there, Nick. Um, uh, thank you for that. That's G A V N W from Mike Seven Lima Lima Alpha Seven Freeze there, Nick. Uh, thank you for the contact. You have a good weekend. Any more? Any more calls for sort of? Summits in here for Mike Seven Lima Lima Alpha on G Stroke NP 032 Craig Ophel. Gold Seven Sierra X Ray Romeo. Gold Seven Sierra X Ray Romeo. Yep. Uh, you, uh, thank you for waiting there. Uh, can just take your name and location. Uh, you're five and five, five and five uh, on this side. Uh, back to you. Yeah, five, seven, Lima, Lima, Alpha, Gold, seven, Sierra, X-ray, Romeo. Hello, Neil. It's Mark in Leeds, West Yorkshire, and you are uh, five and a six, five and six down to Leeds. Back to you. Martin, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I've. Um, Second time doing this Craig Ophel. Uh, I don't know if you just heard there when I was talking to Nick. I uh, failed it last time, my first ever fail on the uh, sort of activation, so I got the uh, that out of the way. <laughs> but yep, uh, five and five there, and uh, yep, f thank you for your contact there, Martin. One more, one more, please, and I've, uh, I've um, that's why I'm rushing a little bit because uh, I don't want to fail it this time there, Martin. So Mick, uh, Mick Nick, uh, Nick, and Martin, yeah, thank you so far. Um, yeah, I'll pass it back to you, Martin. Um, but yeah, from Mike Seven Lima Lima Alpha, I uh, appreciate you there, uh, Martin. Yeah, Gold Seven Sierra X Ray Romeo returning. Yeah, can I just correct my name on the? Uh, yeah, it's Mark Mike Alpha Romeo Kilo. It must be a little bit noisy up there, a bit cold, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, Mark Mike Alpha Romeo Kilo. Back to you, Neil. Yeah, I've actually got me out on, uh, even though the sun's out and it's just that wind, you know, when you're up at the summit. Yeah, I've um, I've crossed that out and it's Mark. Yeah, my apologies there. And, uh, yeah, I have got a, like a balaclava on, you see, as well. Um, this is going to go on YouTube, believe it or not, uh, on Bear Chills. So if you, you search Bear Chills on uh, YouTube, you'll, might, uh, you'll see yourself, hopefully, if we activate this. But, yeah, I've got your call sign, G7 Sierra X-Ray Romeo Mark Leeds 5 and 5. And uh, my name's Neil November Echo India Lima. I'm from QTH, it's from Bradford. And uh, my call sign is Mike 7 Lima Lima Alpha. Cheers there, Mark. And I'll say 7 Freeze. And uh, any more sort of, um, any more callers for sort of summits on the air for GMP 03 Craig Call 6 X-Ray Bravo Fox. G6 XB X. Yeah, uh, a few more keys up there, but I've got the, got, uh, I'll come back to them. Uh, but one come through are uh, Golf 6, X-Ray, Bravo, Foxtrot, I believe. Uh, that's 5 and 9, 5 and 9 on Craig Ophel. Two points here for climbing the 508 metres um, on this nice but breezy uh, winter's morning. Uh, can I take your name and location there, please? Uh, Golf 6, X-Ray, Bravo, Foxtrot, I believe, uh, last one was, uh, from Mike 7, Lima, Lima, Alpha. Yeah, I think I've worked with you uh, before. Well, thank you for coming back to me. I have actually um, qualified the summit now for, uh, from Nick, from thanks to Mick, Nick, Mark, and you, Walt, um, and others I'm going to talk to. And believe it or not, it must be a curse this one because uh, I have left the adapter to go into my dipole. So believe it or not, I'm losing an Andeld 
into Nigo, your 771 uh, antenna, but it's doing the trick. Yeah, I don't know what happened last time. Uh, I think it was accumulation of a few things with the, uh, I don't know, uh, the weather, uh, my batteries died straight away and I was using rubbish equipment, should we say. And yeah, I don't know. But anyway, well, um, I'll pass it back to you. Yeah, and uh, can I just have a signal report? I don't know, my apologies if you give me one. Uh, but yours is five and nine, five and nine. Back to you, uh, G6 XBF from Mike Seven Lima Lima Alpha. G6 XBF returning. Yeah, no problem. You're five and five, five and five. No, no problem. Lovely audio and uh, decent signal. Considering you're on the handle. Uh, yeah. Well done, my friend. Well, I'm glad you've, <laughs> you've made it, and uh, I hope you get many more. Take care. Don't get too cold. And I'm sure you get plenty more for the people there calling you. So I wish you something to see, Neil, and catch you further down the bottom. Stay safe. Stay safe. Yeah, cheers there. Well, if you hang on at about 11 o'clock, I think Chris is doing a sort of uh, Pendalil, I believe, but I'm not sure it might change. But um, MZRSF is doing a uh, sort of, if everybody can wait on for him, uh, around about 11 o'clock. But yeah, 7 freeze there, Walt. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, and yeah, you have a good day. Is this frequency news? Is frequency news from Mike Seven Lima Lima Alpha? M zero XLT, I believe, uh, from Mike Seven Lima Lima Alpha. Are you there? I am. You're five nine plus. It's Kevin in Gargler. I uh, once commented on your videos. Uh, used to do a lot of wild camping before uh, some years ago, but uh, still got all the kit. But I'm been out for a few years due to health. Uh, you're 5'9 plus into Gargoyle, brother. Oh, yeah, I think I, uh, yeah, I remember that comment. And uh, also, I think I worked on Chapeau, I believe, or Rumbles more, maybe. Uh, uh, if you stick around uh, about 11 o'clock as well, I think Chris is doing uh, a sorta in uh, Pendalil, I believe, at 11 o'clock. Um, so if you can make that there, Kevin, I know you spoke to him a few times. But yeah, you're, you're booming through here on Crape Fell. G slash MP032, Craco fell two points. Yeah, I failed this in uh, my last video on Bear Chills on YouTube. Um, but this time I've ac activated it, so yeah, I appreciate it. I did have a, another little stumble, I don't know if you heard, but I, uh, I brought my two meter dipole up and yeah, I forgot the antenna, what goes into me handheld. So <laughs> I'm on a uh, just a, like a 30 centimetres uh, Nagoya 771, but it's worked and uh, yeah, nothing, you know, I don't know there Kevin, but it must be this summit, but well, at least I've activated, now I can move on there. Mike M0 XLT, nice to speak to you there Kevin, uh, so I'll pass it back to you from Mike 7 Lima Lima Alpha. Yeah, good afternoon there, uh, oh, good morning there, Bear Chills, love it, <laughs> Bear Chills, I just love that. Um, I've, I've actually met Bear Grills, believe it or not, I've actually met him in person, uh, I was with him for 30 minutes uh, some years ago, uh, when he was, he'd become Chief Scout, and I met him at an event, uh, but uh, that, that's a different story, I knew nothing about amateur radio, so we introduced, introduced him to amateur radio and left him with some paperwork, etc. Because um, I said to him, you should, as an adventure, you should be able to uh, become a, you know, you should become a radio amateur. But uh, whether he's not, whether he ever will do, I do not know. But as I say, nice chap, uh, nice chap, I have to say. Uh, as I was saying, we have to find about everything. Yeah, I've got a, a Nagoya whip. Uh, they work really well. He flies nine plus with me, so uh, it's working nonetheless. So at least you've qualified it. And as I say, due to health issues with me, uh, for the past few years, I've done very little in the outdoors. Yeah, no worries there, Kevin. I appreciate your comments there and getting back to me. Yep, no worries. You keep uh, plodding along and um, let me know if you um, 
you, you speak to Chris as well. Yep, no worries, and uh, I explain why I'm called Bear Chills actually on the next video, so that's the one to watch. But anyway, yep, 7 Freeze, uh, Kevin, M0 XLT from Mike 7, Lim Lim and Alpha 7 Freeze. Uh, G5, why you from Mike 7, Lim Lim Alpha, back to you. Yeah, fine, but you just uh, refresh me on the name, please. Yeah, it's Neil November Echo India Lima. Yeah, fine business, Neil. I was again 59 plus, and uh, I think you've got me as Alf. The name is Art, Alpha Romeo Tango. Art is the name, and uh, located in Briarfield, using an FT857 into an X510. And uh, yes, I do recollect uh, you there, Neil, and uh, fine business on activating uh, uh, this time round. From Golf 4, Mike Yankee United. Yeah, it's been a challenge this time as well. Um, but, you know, settling down a little bit now. Um, I think I qualified for the bonus point as well, because we're still in winter technically, I think, until end of the March, I believe. So, yeah, I'm really pleased. That's why I, uh, I was a bit shaky, a bit um, eager at the first when I was speaking to M7, MCG. Uh, I uh, just wanted to get these, you know. I want. I did want to have a longer, uh, you know. You know. You know how it goes. Uh, uh, um, I wanted to have a longer QSO with them, but I just wanted to also, in the same breath, I wanted to uh, activate the summit with me uh, failing it last time. But yeah, it's. Uh, I've done it now. Uh, um, I'm very pleased, and I can move on from here. Back to you. Yeah, fine business all round there. Yeah, I wonder what you're using there. Very nice audio. Very sharp. And I uh, wonder what your antenna is there, Neil. <laughs> yeah, um, it's just a Nagoya, 30 centimetres, it's straight into the Andeld. Anytone 878, the DMR 2 metre, you know, dual bander. Um, I have got an 818, but that's in storage at the moment until uh, I just get that up and running. There's a few little bits and bats I need, like a storage box for it before I start bringing it up in the summits. I did bring it up here last time and it failed it um, into Wonderwand like a miracle whip. But yeah, at the moment I'm using a Nagoya 771. And yeah, I think Walt and a few more said uh, it's brilliant audio for a for a, a budget handheld. It's fantastic. It certainly is. It's excellent. Is that uh, audio quality? And uh, where, where's the on QTH, Neil? I'm from Bradford, Bradford, West Yorkshire. Back to you. Oh, I bet you. Nice one. Uh, so, uh, anyway, enjoy the rest of the day. Quite cool here, showing about 3, 4 degrees at the moment. But uh, it is a nice bright day, and it's fine. You take care. Thanks for the natter, and uh, let you crack on. From Golf 4, Mike Yankee United. So, Chris M0 RSF is also doing a, a sort of... I think he's gone up Pender Hill, not so far from here by Sharpoor. He's on uh, 475, I believe, so we'll give him a shout. 005, Pendle Hill. There he is. Truck SP 005, Pendle Hill. 515, 515. So yeah, thanks for the 55, five. thanks for the 55. Five. You're a 54 for me, 54. You have it, nobody comes back, I'm off. Enjoy the day, Alan. Safety send, 73. M0 XLT. Call 6, X-ray Bravo, Fox. He's on a handheld with a whip antenna. He's had issues, I think, so he's uh, worked him. He's qualified, it seemingly, as well. Yeah, excellent. Hopefully he'll find me on this one. Uh, you're the fourth, Kevin. I've qualified the summit, so I'm not staying. Speak to you this evening, hopefully, Kevin. 7-3, all the best. OK, Chris, take care. There's Walt calling from Leeds. You take care, Chris. Yeah, Walt's well, the next one. I've already got it written down. Uh, all the best, Kevin. g 66 we have go ahead. <laughs> Mike, 7 Lima Lima Alpha. Yeah, all the best. Someone else calling there, Chris. 73. Yeah, thanks, boy. Thanks, uh, well, Mike, 7 Lima Lima Alpha Portable, go ahead. Yeah, Mike, 7 Lima Lima Alpha, short portable, summit to summit. Um, good morning, I still believe there, uh, Chris. Um, yeah, like you said, it's windy up here. Can hardly move my fingers, but yeah, I'm gonna get off. I just waited up here for you, and uh, yeah, finally we got a, a summit to summit. And um, for obvious reasons, you're five nine, five nine. Back to you, uh, M zero RSF from Mike Seven Lima Lima Alpha, shivering up uh, Craig Cofell. Yeah, nice, uh, nice one. Thanks a lot for that, uh, Neil. Tell you what, the handle's 
higher a climb, the colder it got. Uh, I'm tucked in behind wall. Antenna's probably about two feet off the ground here. Look out for it in the air, it's too windy. But yeah, you'll get your sent off. Thanks for hanging about, uh, Neil. Uh, hopefully it's the first of many, over. Yeah, yeah, no problem at all. Uh, congratulations for uh, activating, it, activating it as well. Yep, 7 Freeze there, uh, MZRSF from Mike 7, Lima Lima Alpha. Take care, Chris. Yes, yeah, safety sent, Neil. Cheers. Uh, QRZ, MZRSF Portable, Pendle Hill, for something on the air listening. Golf 7, Whiskey Alpha, Whiskey Portable. Like he said, we're not hanging about. Um, I just waited for the Summit Summit. I think Chris was my first Summit Summit there. That's why I waited about for him, and obviously, hopefully, he qualified as well. So I think he has. Um, happy birthday to Sota. And what a way of getting defeated by this from the last video and uh, coming back positive and uh, activating it. It just goes to show you keep you keep going, guys. You keep going. And uh, I just want to thank... Look at that one there. I just want to thank... Um, all the all the the callers who come through, what well, I'll put a list on, and uh, without you guys, it, you know, we wouldn't better do this. And yeah, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate it. And I think that's why, like I said, I wanted to get through them contacts just to get this over and done when move on. So sorry for it went along QSO, but yeah, here, yeah. thank you very much, guys, and uh, be positive. I'll see you on the next one.